In today's tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, we're going to talk about alpha channels. An alpha channel is essentially a transparency map for your footage or image, meaning that you can have areas in your footage or image that have some level of transparency or total transparency. To help you understand exactly what an alpha channel does, here's a sequence I created where the first few frames require an alpha channel in order to still be able to see the footage layer below while the title sequence animates fully in. You'll notice that the effect animates over the footage below it, and this wouldn't be possible unless you used an alpha channel or you created the effects directly in the program. Alpha channels are really great when you're working between programs like setting stuff from After Effects to Premiere Pro, or if you want to create like a custom title that you're eventually going to save and just reuse in every single video. Now that you have an idea of what it is and why it can be useful, let's dive into After Effects CC to show you how to export footage with an alpha channel, and then I'll show you how to do the same in Premiere Pro. All right, with After Effects open, I have a red background layer created, and then I also have a circle here, which is a bouncing ball that animates over time. So it looks like this. This was fairly straightforward. I just used some keyframes over time to create the animation. And with this animation, as you can see, there is a red background, as we mentioned before. So if I were to export this, of course, the white ball animation and the red background would get exported because this does fill the background. This red shape does fill it. However, if I were to turn off the red background layer, then the background would just be empty or transparent. This would be a totally transparent background with our white animated layer left over. Now, if we were to export this without an alpha channel, the export would automatically fill the background to be black, and therefore there would be no transparent background. So first, let's export this just the way it is. So we'll go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. Then we'll click on the text beside the output module. We'll set it to a format that we prefer. So in this case, I'll use QuickTime. And then for the format options, we'll leave it to Apple ProRes 422. And we'll hit OK and then we'll choose an area to save it in. And we'll call this one Bouncing Ball No Alpha Channel. Go to Save and then hit Render. All right, now we'll go back to our composition, and this time we'll turn off the red background, do the same thing, add it to Render Queue, keep the format to QuickTime, we'll change the format options to something that allows for an alpha channel, such as Apple ProRes 444, We'll hit OK. And then under Channels, if we select the RGB here, you get a few options. So we can export just the red, green, blue channels, which is just the full color of your export. We can choose to export just the alpha, which would export just the, the transparent areas and would exclude the bouncing ball. That would be useful if you're doing some compositing work as a visual effects artist. And then you can also choose to export the red, green, blue channels plus the alpha. So that's what we're going to select. And then you'll see under the depth, which is the color depth, you'll see that it says millions of colors plus. The plus represents the alpha channel. So let's hit OK. Again, we'll send it to an area. We'll call this one with alpha channel and go to render. Now that you understand how to export a regular file and a file with an alpha channel inside After Effects, now let's go to Premiere Pro. Okay, now that we're in Premiere Pro, I have a still image of myself loaded into the timeline. Let's now import the files we exported from After Effects into Premiere Pro. So the first one is just our regular export, and then the second one is the one with the alpha channel. Although right now it just looks like it has a black background, but if we bring our regular export over our still image, you can see that it fills the entire frame and there's no transparent areas in this. However, when we bring over the one with the alpha channel, you'll see that you're gonna still be able to see the bouncing ball and the background. That's because it exported with an alpha channel. And finally, to export with an alpha channel inside Premiere Pro, set your format to QuickTime or any other format that allows you to change the video codec to either GoPro Cineform, Animation, or Apple ProRes 4444. Because those three common video codecs, when you scroll down, will allow you to select this option here, which is RGBA plus alpha. Okay, that brings us to the end of this tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks on how to work with alpha channels. My name is Will Bartlett, and we'll see you next time.